This video was inevitable. There have been constant rumblings behind the scenes that were steering me in the direction of it, and as much as I get the impression that my viewers really don't like it when I do these over-serious video statements, I feel like this one is mandatory for me. After all, I was indirectly involved in the situation. One of the big recent statements both showed a screenshot from my Twitter from around the start of the incident, and my original YouTube name was dropped. And I don't care if the screenshot shows me more angry at the people tactlessly trying to draw shallow comparisons to the Spockta situation, for as pertinent as that looks in hindsight, nor do I care if the name drop was more in the context of me reacting only to what I saw and not getting involved in the resulting mob. Irrespective of all of that, there are still tons of regrets that weigh on my conscience, so I still want to get this word out there. I've slowly been withdrawing various allusions and statements to this effect in the background through mediums like the comments section, but now I want to make it formal and clear as day. Any remarks that I may or may not have made in favour of the grooming allegations surrounding the YouTuber formerly known as George Raccoon are henceforth retracted. I felt like a decision like this would have happened at some point anyway. Right from when the accusations first hit, it was indeed an emotionally hurtful experience, as my tweet implies. But even back then, I was always of the belief that if George came forward and issued an apology, or at the very least his side of the story like what we got now, he could very likely bounce back from this, because I never saw him as someone who was acting maliciously, particularly not now that I've witnessed several instances of people with ties to this community who actually could be described as predatory and worse. I always saw George as someone who didn't really know what he was doing and processed everything wrongly, which, yes, does not make him 100% innocent of everything, even knowing what we know now, but it did at least make me want to avoid assuming the worst in him, unlike what many other people did. And now that a more detailed analysis of the initial circumstances from Doodle, plus a statement from George's perspective, have both come forward, both of which I've linked in the description, this has cemented my decision all the more. Regardless of whether you want to think my actions were comparatively less malicious than most others, I still wholeheartedly regret the way I acted during the initial stages of that drama, especially nowadays. In the time since the George Raccoon outing, I've seen things that make it look even milder by comparison. I've caught word of a narcissistic, over-argumentative individual emotionally manipulating and gaslighting their significant other, plus many other people, with rhetoric steeped in wanting the last word on everything at best, and out-and-out -out transphobia at worst. I've caught word of a tactless elitist engaging in overly aggressive behaviour before being outed as having physically exposed themselves to someone who was already a victim of sexual assault. I have seen someone lie about their own past history and smugly mock everyone while oblivious to the fact that he was broadcasting to an audience of people who would know that past history and the fact that he was processing his angst by exploiting tragedies, all the while calling out someone who did the same. I have seen a long-time friend of mine degrade into a spiteful, self-centered, unstable, thoroughly dishonest individual who blew up in my DMs multiple times when called out for their erratic behavior and spread out-and-out -out libel about people. I care about, to the extent where my eventual decision to cut them out of my life for good was one of the most emotionally relieving experiences I've ever had. I've seen the kind of behaviour that warrants this kind of ousting. And even I'm here right now saying, George's worst crimes were being mildly irresponsible and accidentally making someone feel bad, all the while led further astray by a lack of clear communication on the part of both sides, with rumblings of one side being led even further astray by a colleague's grudge. If those circumstances are to be seen as a reason to oust someone, especially after all the examples we've seen in this community of actual abuse and actual grooming, then is it any wonder that we've had at least a few people who are having second thoughts about joining this community? I only hope to be a lot more careful when an incident like this comes up, and my wish is that everyone else does too. Admittedly, a project I've been working on for the past year has basically required me to be careful with handling the testimonies of others regarding the behaviour of an unscrupulous individual, so eh, who knows, perhaps I am getting better, or at the very least I have the opportunity and the experience to get better. I don't know, I'm rambling at this stage. Enough things have gotten in the way of me putting this video out sooner, and I don't need a lack of direction on my part being one of them. Either way, I hope going forward that when faced with allegations like these, we strive to examine what was presented and not leap to conclusions based on the incendiary dust cover that the accusations were bound in. That's all I have to say.